How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now I've been working with the VMware product catalogue. Some of my close friends say if you cut Andy in half it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Welcome back to another Hancock's VMware half hour. And finally, in this video, we're going to use a Lifecycle Manager uh, to update our 8.02 hosts to 8.03. Uh, so that will uplift them from, currently they're on build uh, 223.80479, and we're going to uplift them uh, to build 240.22510, which is 8.023. Uh, which came out about seven days ago. So I'm going to use the method where I'm going to actually allocate or assign set of an image to our cluster. So this is slightly different with um, VMware vCenter server 8.03, which is slightly. So I'm going to actually basically state and proceed with the current image, which is 8.0 U2. So I'm going to set up another image manually. Um, now, these hosts that we have here in the lab are HPE, Polite Microservers, um, Gen 8s. Um, they're not actually on the hardware compatibility list, but we have actually basically put the HPE customized image on these from 8.0 GA. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to select Edit. I'm going to select the latest version, 8.0 U3, 2402510, which is um, our, the latest build that came out on the 25th to 6th, and even says when it was released there. I'm going to select the, the vendors add on, the latest vendors add on for these, which is That was released on the 6th of the 25th of 6th as well for the HPU. Um, I don't have a firmware, and there aren't any firmware upgrades as well as I'm aware. So I'm going to click um, Save. And I'm going to click Validate. Okay, that's going to check the image compliance. And then we're going to finish the image setup. And then we're going to remediate or apply uh, that image to both of these hosts in the cluster. And hopefully um, it will apply and update them, restart, and we'll have two shiny new hosts running 8.03. Now these are still running on industrial strength. Um hang one earlier actually. Uh, yeah, industrial, you probably can't see that, it's too small. That's too small, I would think. Um, these are running on industrial strength. Um, uh, micro SD cards, I don't even, um, they cost us a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure really what uh, industrial fence means, but um, I think that we've seen in later versions of 7.03 and 8.0 of USXI um, that installation on USB flash drives and installation on SD cards really is no longer supported. Okay, so the Current images are out of compliance, which isn't a surprise. Um, so I'm going to finish the image setup. Uh, yes, to finish the image setup. And then what we will do, uh, we will remediate, uh, we'll remediate the cluster, uh, the entire cluster. So let's just say remediate all. I accept the terms, click start remediation, and what that should do, uh, it'll do all the heavy lifting for us. Um, it will put hosts into maintenance mode. 
uh, apply the image, shut down, restart, exit maintenance mode, and any virtual machines, in this particular case, the only virtual machine that we've currently got running on our cluster is VMware vCenter Server 8.03. So it will also basically do um, the work of migrating that in hosts uh, when it does um, the updating. So, all for me, really for me to do is just sit back and watch. Uh, so I'm going to disappear. I'm going to go and grab another coffee and come back. And we'll speed all this up in post. And then I will come back and we'll summarize. And hopefully, our cluster um, will be fully updated and uh, we will be ready to go with a shiny new 8.03 vCenter server, uh, 8.03 ESXi hosts uh, for us basically to start competing. Uh, more videos um, for for you to watch. So I'll bob off. I'll come back Okay, so we've had a few kind of games here in the lab. Surprise, surprise. It wouldn't be a VMware Hancock Star Fire. Um, if we even have issues in the lab. Um, as you may have seen, I actually started to fiddle. Um, bad idea. Um, I had DRS and HA off in this lab for a reason. Because the hosts that I have in this lab are 16 gig. And as I've said before, I don't think that 16 gig hosts really cut it anymore uh, for a VMware VCA lab because vCenter server itself really wants to have four cores and it really wants to have 16 gig at least, if not 24. Um, so because these have got 16 gig hosts, um, running vCenter server on them really picks up all the memory probably by about 500 meg left, um, and they struggle. And because of the VCLS virtual machines that are running on each host as well, um, when I have DLS and HA enabled, uh, HA and DLS or DLS fights, um, because although it migrates the virtual machine to the other host, so it can enter maintenance mode, it then moves it back because basically the memory resources for VCLS and vCenter server are just too great. So therefore, I've had to disable HA, disable DLS, manually move VM vCenter server 8.03 to ESXi001, and that's why you can see now that we've got a red, red exclamation mark at the moment because memory um, is fairly low. And that actually basically enables us to start the, the heavy lifting and uh, would have been completely hands off um, if I've got suitable resources in this lab. Um, we use this functionality all the time in production and we don't have any issues. You know, you can, if you still haven't got the confidence to go through and remediate each individual host, um, or if you've barely got the balls, um, then basically just remediate the cluster, walk away, and um, all your hosts will be updated. And we use this with vSAN as well with, with no issues. So, um, we're now starting to install the image on the SXI002. Um, I've, got, I've got an echo coming from somewhere. Let's just turn a few of these things off because I've definitely got an echo, I think, from somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from. Sounds like an echo anyway. I've been messing around playing music and um, waiting for, for things to happen. 
Um, anyway, we'll play this back afterwards and see what it's like. Okay, so we're starting to the host image, and you may have noticed before um, that I opened up an ILO connection to just basically check that it was actually restarting the server and was actually basically coming up with the right version of, of ESXi 8.0U3. Because the CPUs, uh, both again in these hosts, are not supported. Um, so I was wondering whether that was actually going to get an error message that turned around and basically said, um, no can do. Uh, and there you go, just as we talk about ILO, uh, you can actually basically see that it's actually just starting to uh, restart the host. And hopefully 8.03 will come up. So with that, I'm just going to bob off and I'll come up and summarize. Uh, as I said, and I'll speed all the recipe in post because it would have been a little bit quicker if it wasn't for me messing around. Okay, so success. Um, if we can check, you you would have seen uh, with the ILO running here that this particular host now is running on um, 2502.2510, which is 8.03 or 8.0U3. We'll have a little look in vCenter server. We can also see that we've updated 8.03. Build is correct there for both ESX and I1 and ESX and I2. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Um, so come back for another episode of Hancock's film there, half hour. And uh, I'm going to have a little look back at some common experts exchange questions. And uh, we're going to do some videos to address some common questions that come up on experts exchange. Uh, things like, how do I change my ESXi password? Uh, how do I change my vCenter server password? Um, snapshots, we can look at snapshots. And um, we've got some new features in um, during our vCenter server 8.0.3 that we can look at. Um, and then um, I'm going to look at some new P2V and V2V rules as well. So, once again, Thanks so much for watching these videos. And if um, you have a video um, or an article that you know you want me to write, something that you don't quite understand about the whole VMware vSphere ecosystem, um, and not questions about Broadcom, uh, but if you have a, a, an issue with a particular product uh, that you want me to do a video on, uh, then just drop me a message. Okay, so once again, thanks so much for watching these videos. Uh, goodbye.